It's been almost seven years since the British band Keen last made music together. Was there anything you were nervous about coming back as a band? God, I was terrified. I was just nervous about playing the songs right. <laughs> For drummer Richard Hughes, bassist Jesse Quinn, songwriter Tim Rice Oxley, and frontman Tom Chaplin, the reunion's been emotional. You guys have known each other almost since the beginning of time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Feels like it, yeah. <laughs> Chaplin and Rice Oxley have been close friends since childhood. As a kid, I just remember thinking Tim was the aloof, cool, older brother who could play Airwolf on the piano. It was a TV piano. show. Yeah, right, yeah. I haven't thought about that in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> How did the tune go? Da, 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 da. That's the one. Yeah, I was like, wow. Guys a that's so cool. so. <laughs> <laughs> the big break for Keen came in 2003 when a small label agreed to release a single. They kind of said, well, we'll put out a song and see how it goes, right? And, and that song was? Everybody's Changing. Everybody's Changing would put the band on the map in England. I remember yeah. that feeling being really exhilarating. Keane's debut album, Hopes and Fears, would sell nearly six million copies behind the international smash, Somewhere Only We Know. The band's first four albums all went to number one in the UK, but some critics mocked them for wearing their hearts on their sleeves. You guys have often sort of made light of the fact that you're sort of a middle class band. Mm. Is that a pejorative in your view? <laughs> How long have you got? <laughs> you know, inevitably, people start sniping at you. You know, it's the, that's the nature of any kind of success. And, and then you start getting into this habit of like, well, we better put ourselves down before someone else does. Even more troublesome, Chaplin began an ongoing battle with drug addiction, which in 2013 would contribute to the breakup of the band. Eventually, I knew it was going to completely ruin me. How did you know that? It really became my whole life and at the same time my daughter was born and no doubt would I, I would be dead if I carried on doing that I would have killed myself with it because of the toll it was taking on me mentally you knew that at the time oh yeah yeah after Keane split Rice Oxley's marriage fell apart in 2014 he was arrested for drunk driving after steering his car off a country road into a ditch it left me in a place eventually where I really needed to uh, you needed some help, I suppose. Is going through that part of what ultimately brought you back together? Yes, definitely. It's not always been rosy and perfect as a friendship, but it's always been a very important one. Mm -hmm. In a way, the most important one. After two years of being out of touch, in 2017, a now sober chaplain reached out to his old friend. I hadn't realized just how deep his pain had been about with, with his marriage breaking down and how much of a hole he'd been in, really. Um, and th then once I heard the songs, you know, it really made sense. Those songs make up Cause and Effect, Keane's new album, a reunion that's allowed the band to see itself in a whole new light. It's great to have that opportunity to, to be able to do it again and see, see stuff from a different place and that maybe you're not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if we're self-deprecating or too, too mean about ourselves, we give each other a look now. Because, you, you know, you, I think one of the things about becoming happier is you have to, we have to learn to like yourself. It sounds like a small thing, but to break that habit and to actually be really proud of what we've done and what we are doing, that's a big breakthrough. <laughs>